Okay. 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 So the, or the order of arrest, the arrest warrant, and then this is what we spent the entire morning getting. And then this is the release. And what our lawyers tell me is that I have to keep this with me all the time, just in case someone tries to arrest me. Parang palaminate na nga, no? Why can't I palaminate siya? Um, do you still need it? Um, zoom in. Um, yeah. Zoom in. Okay. Do you want me to... You want me, you want me to give it to you, but you can't take it away from me because then if they arrest me, I'm pretty close to it. That's worth our mornings, guys. I never heard the cameras click as fast as they did, though, Nina, huh? verified that I, there was a, an arrest warrant out. Uh, I surrendered to the court that issued the warrant and filed bail uh, without um, giving up my right to actually question whether this court even has the jurisdiction. Right? Our lawyers plan to file a motion for dismissal for this. I don't know how far I'm supposed to, uh, to talk about this, but um, politically motivated, I continue to say that. Uh, there's this, the regional trial court, a tax case doesn't belong in a regional trial court. Um, that's part of what's next. If you'll notice in the order, I have to come back. There's an arraignment on December 7th, so here I will be back. Um, I'm certainly not a flight risk. I came back precisely to address these charges, and I'll continue addressing the charges if nothing other than to show that A, they're politically motivated, two, they're manufactured. Rappler pays the right taxes. We are certainly not a dealer in securities. We remain and have always been a new school. What do you think Rappler did to be targeted? We're not as big as you are. No. Um, why are we targeted? Uh, like everyone, we. I, what I know is that we expose the propaganda machine on social media. We continue to do the drug war. Uh, we just finished a seven-part series from the killers' perspectives, and the killers actually said that they were paid by the police to kill. Um, this is the time to do these stories. We know that. You're doing the stories. We need to keep doing them, even if there are these reasons, there are these ways that we are being told not to do, we're being harassed not to do it. If you choose to do the story, uh, it works against you. Um, we're not the only ones that have been targeted. Um, the Inquirer was targeted early on. They were the first ones mentioned in President Duterte's State of the Nation address. ABS-CBN, uh, its franchise has also, the President Duterte has said they wouldn't renew the franchise. But the difference between those giants and us is Rappler is a startup. We began in 2012, we're just six years old. We, we came to positive EBITDA in 2016, the same year that the government began its attacks. Maria, there are other tax cases pending before the Court of Tax Appeals. So what do you think that you can bail if they issue the arrest warrants? There are like four other cases? There are. The, the four cases, four other cases from the same tax evasion charge that comes from the same case that has already been remanded back to the SEC, right? So these four cases, like this one, carries bail of 60,000 pesos. So when you put the five cases together, I'm, I'm paying just a little bit less bail than, than former First Lady Imelda Marcos. Um, but today, the Court of Tax Appeal will be raffling off the, the four cases and um, if they issue an arrest warrant, we'll face it in court and we'll file bail. How much would be the total bail? Um, 60 times 
five total, everything, right? 60,000 pesos times every charge, that's times five, 60 times five, so 300,000. 300,000? For the CTA, the Court of Tax Appeal. So you can you can confirm that with our lawyers, but yeah, this one is sixty thousand. The other, the four will be two hundred and four thousand. So you we see the government's really going all out, using different avenues to go after them. Are you afraid that the government is starting? I think the government wants me to feel afraid. You know, I've been through a lot of these things before, and certainly now is not the time to be afraid. We understand we're vulnerable, but. We also know that our mission has never been stronger. What are we doing that makes the government file these cases? Whatever it is, we're doing the right thing, right? And I ask, the more journalists who do this, the better it is. I think this is the time, while we're still strong, while the Constitution is strong, that we should be questioning moves like this, and we'll continue to do so. Do you think um, these moves will help shut down the Um, while the end goal may be to shut down Rappler, where it will actually go, I hope, is to make Filipinos aware that these very blatant and brazen moves require every Filipino to stand up and say, this is wrong, our constitution, our rights are being threatened, and the government should not be moving on many avenues with impunity. I think that's the final thing, right? We need to hold government to account. And part of the reason I'm here is precisely that. I'm not a criminal, and yet uh, here, I've been fingerprinted like a criminal, right? Um, it washes off, but these charges, before the government files these, they should have gone through their own due process. And just in this court alone, we, we feel that we did not get due process. So I'll let our lawyers argue it in court, um, but no, I'm not afraid. Mama, I'm what not. effect does this have on your operations? Does it deplete your resources, affect morale? I think the end goal of government is to try to make our team lose, um, lose focus. Uh, affect morale. But in the end, you know, the, the mission of journalism, in, especially for Rapplers, has never been stronger. We know we're doing something right. We know what we're doing is critically important right now. And I, I hope all the journalists in the Philippines feel the same way. This is the time. This is the time when we have to do our jobs. The mission has never been stronger. And frankly, it's a bit shocking to me the lengths government will go to to try to let little Rappler feel its power. We know you're powerful. The government has vast powers. I'm appealing to the men and women inside the government, especially the people in this hall who will be touching our case. It's your values. It's what you believe in. Please act independently. Act according to the rule of law. Do the right thing. We will. Salamat. Sorry.